Odudu who are going to continue with their manager class that we had started earlier on. Okay, previously we had looked at how to set a one time alarm that, of course, rings at a specified time, and that's it. Now, today we're going to see how to work with a repeating or a recurring alarm. Okay, so that you set it, uh, say, after 20 minutes, 30 minutes, it is it then it will be ringing at the same time until you cancel it or it it continues ringing even when the application is closed so let's say you can see right here we have an edit text just for as an example let's use five seconds okay so because we want to see it right here we're going to use five seconds then i come click start okay it's going to tell me alarm setting five seconds then of course after five seconds you can see we're simulating ringing showing a toast message so again after five seconds it will continue ringing at this way in fact even if we cancel the application if we close the app right here you can see alarm ringing it continues uh, ringing right there in fact if we come to the recent apps and then uh, make sure that we close it uh, right here of course our alarm you can see it continues ringing okay so this is what we're going to see guys then what about if you want to cancel well of course if you want to cancel let's go back and cancel our alarm right here of course you come just click the cancel button this way if you cancel it won't ring again it's going to cancel uh, the alarms that we set in this particular app so this is it guys this is what we're going to do if say you wanted I say seven seconds we're just using a number that's going to ring first so that we can see in this demo so after seven seconds our alarm is going to be uh, continue uh, ringing this way then again after seven seconds it rings now if we come click cancel it won't ring again okay so this is it guys this is uh, what we are going to see alarm manager class okay we're going to see how to work with of course uh alarms so that's it let's jump over to our code obviously the first thing that we do we create we go ahead create our project type the app name then of course go to next we're going to choose the minimum sdk that our app is going to uh, support i'm going with the api 15 now there are a couple of templates you guys can choose the empty activity or the basic activity let me choose the basic activity then of course you click next then of course click finish this is going to generate for us our project so normally once we've of course we've have created our project the first step is to take a look at of course our gradle files of course the build or gradle our default repository is the j center we're not changing anything or not adding anything instead we'll come right here to our build.cradle all right so inside the app level okay this is the app level the other one was the previous was the uh, project level so for us we said our minimum sdk was a pi 15 then of course we're going to go ahead make sure you add the app compact right here because our main activity is going to derive from the app compact okay now the version will depend of course with your sdk you have installed the constraint route this is going to be the root tag for our content main.xml then of course we have the design support library so in fact we're not adding any third party library you guys can just leave your project the way it is okay so next we're going to proceed over to our layouts the first layout normally if you chose the basic activity this of course is the activity main it's what will get inflated to our main activity now of course this was generated for us we have the app bar layout we have the toolbar floating action button and then of course our, our content main is included inside it but then for us what's important is that we come to the content main this is where we're going to add to edit text the time txt this is where we're going to require the user to enter the number of seconds after which he wants the alarm to ring then we're going to have two buttons the start button as well as the cancel button next 
let's move over to our code so our project is actually going to consist of two classes our main activity which is our activity as well as our my receiver which is our broadcast receiver class so first let's move over to uh, create a class right click your package create a class public class my receiver is the name then of course we are going to in derive from the broadcast receiver class okay so make sure you guys uh derive from the broadcast receiver class this is going to force us to implement on receive method okay so we go ahead we're going to have to override this particular on receive method what we're going to do this is what we're going to do, uh, write the code the logic that we want to happen when of course our alarm rings okay so when we receive the broadcast what do we want to do of course for us in this case we just want to show a toast message okay when our alarm rings we want to show a toast message saying alarm ringing does it this is our broadcast receiver class next let's jump over to our main activity so our main activity right here of course this is our uh, launch activity it will get called of course first when we uh, launch our application so it derives from the app compat activity what we're going to do of course the on create method this gets called when the activity is created first we're going to have some declarations right here we have two buttons start button as well as the cancel button start button is going to start our alarm cancel is going to cancel it edit text right here time txt of course you're going to enter the time after which you want the alarm to be ringing in the edit text then of course we declare our alarm manager class which we are going to use to create our alarm then of course our pending intent object also we declare it right there next we're going to initialize our views so first come right here we we'll first to start with our edit text find view by id r.id.timetxt button r.id dot start button then of course a cancel button also we reference it then of course we're going to handle our start button a click listener when clicked what do we want to do well of course we want to call a method that we're going to call go so this method this is the method that's going to start our alarm we'll create it in a short while after that one what about our cancel button when clicked well of course we will want to cancel the alarm okay but then before we cancel our alarm we need to make sure that it's not null so we're going to check if alarm manager is not equal to null then alarm manager dot cancel okay then of course while cancelling we pass in the pending intent so that uh, our alarm manager class knows of course the intent uh, that it needs to cancel okay so that's going to cancel our alarm so once we have that one then let's come right here and then initialize our alarm so we're going to have this method called initialize alarm manager first we need to create an intent so we instantiate our intent object intent intent equal to new intent we pass in the context which is this given that we inside our main activity then of course the class type which of course is my receiver dot class then once we've done that one we're going to pass in of course we're going to go ahead and instantiate uh, our pending intent now of course we cannot instantiate it directly instead we're going to use the get broadcast so come right here pending intent dot get broadcast then of course we pass in these parameters first our context then of course our private uh, request code then of course we're going to pass in of course our intent object that we did create and lastly we're going to pass in uh, right here our flag so this is going to give us our pending intent object once we have it then we come right here we also uh, instantiate our alarm manager now once more alarm manager can also not be instantiated directly instead we're going to use the get system service so uh, of the context class so we're going to say alarm manager equal to context dot get system service which service alarm service we pass in as a parameter 
then of course we cast that particular service to alarm manager okay that's going to give us our alarm manager instance once we have that one then of course we can now see how to actually start our alarm so go ahead create this method that we are calling go but first we need to know the time after which you want the alarm to ring so int time equal to integer dot pass int so uh, the fact is that we're going to receive our value from an edit text which of course uh, normally will give us a string okay in fact it's going to give us an edit text object which of course we cast to a string so yes what the user types there we're going to have it as in the string format then of course we call the integer dot pass int is going to cast it to integer okay of course uh, with that one uh, for this one to work you have to have in a realistic value if you enter a word and then try to cast it to an integer there's no way that one's going to work but then that one i leave for you to implement uh, some proper validation this is just a demo for our manager so we'll come right here now of course we're going to be using two methods okay set in exact uh, repeating and then of course uh, set exact repeating so the first thing we're going to check if build.version.sdk int is greater than build.version.cupcake okay cupcake of course this is api3 so from the if it's greater than api3 then what are you going to do we're going to use the set in exact repeating so i'll manager to set in exact repeating i'll manager dot rtc wake up system dot current time uh, millis so this is going to give us the current time in milliseconds then remember our time was passed to us in seconds okay so we're going to cast it to milliseconds by multiplying by a thousand so time our current time plus of course our time right here in milliseconds and then of course i will pass in of course time also right here in milliseconds the time after which say you've passed in five which is five seconds okay so current time plus uh, five seconds that's the time on to which of course our alarm is going to ring okay then of course it will be repeating after that particular uh, five seconds so that's it we're using the set in exact repeating right here which is actually recommended now once it's rung uh, once of course you've not actually rung once you've, you've already set that alarm we're going to notify the user that is set the time in that particular uh, time that was past seconds okay so take note that this is actually what is recommended set in exact repeating okay so that it is the android itself the android platform that is going to determine actually uh, the approximate time onto which you set okay so it's not going to be actually uh, accurate to the milliseconds okay this is recommended because the system can decide uh, the best time but then of course it's going to be approximately the time that you set otherwise uh, if that's not the case if it is less than a uh, cupcake which of course is 3 ap level 3 then of course we're going to use the set repeating our manager the set repeating then of course uh, we can pass in these particular parameters then we notify the user but then of course in this uh, case this actually is not going to apply in this our particular app because we had specified that our minimum sdk was api 15 but then if yours is api 1 then of course yeah you can have this one all right so does it does it uh that's what we're going to do that's our go method which is actually going to start our alarm so first when our activity is created we're going to initialize our views once we've initialized our views, we're going to initialize our alarm manager. It's important that we initialize our alarm manager at the activity level right here so that uh, when the user resumes the activity, we can go ahead and cancel the alarm. Okay, so that's why we have it in a separate method called initialize alarm manager. Otherwise, when the floating action button is clicked, we're calling go to start our alarm. Also, when the start button is also clicked, we will also be calling our go method. So, guys, 
that's it that's what we're going to have right there let's go ahead run our project and see our result so of course if we come uh, right here if we run our project this is what we're getting say i come set my alarm to ring after five seconds so after every five seconds this alarm rate is going to be ringing you can see we're simulating of course as we had said we're simulating ringing of our alarm by showing a toast message okay if you go ahead press cancel like i press cancel our cancel button is going to cancel all the alarms in our app okay our that we set using our alarm manager instance so that's it that's what we've looked at you guys go give us a like share the video make sure you guys subscribe and take care i'll catch you in the next class